Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon, and today we're gonna be filming this awesome live oak home called the Yukon. As you can see, this home actually has a higher pitched roof out here and a tin roof. That's not something you see very often on a double wide. This is a four bedroom, three bath, and it is a super nice home at a great price point. We are at Paradise Home Sales today in Troy, Alabama. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and head inside and go see what this home looks like. But as you can see, as soon as you walk in, this is a really nice open floor concept home. I know some of you don't like that open concept, and that's okay because we're going to actually be filming another home today that has more of a closed concept feel to it. First thing you're going to notice when you walk in is that very nice fireplace that's against this far wall. That is real wood around the fireplace. That's an electric fireplace for those of you that don't want to have to deal with the hassle of wood burning. It is set up for your TV to be right above it. I'm going to turn around and do a little bit of a pan shot for y'all where you can get an idea of the size. It's a good size living room. Right in front of the living room is the kitchen. And I like how bright this kitchen is. It's a lot different than most. Instead of having a more rectangular shaped island, it's actually more of a square shape. It's got room for two bar stools, as you can see that they have staged here. It's got that barn wood looking countertop on this island right here in the center, but you got that marble looking countertop that's over here to the side, along with a real tile backsplash that surrounds the entire kitchen. Now, because of this home being so bright and airy, they decided to tone it down a notch and put in the black appliances. So you do have frigid air appliances throughout this home. Over here, you can see you have a double basin sink, again with industrial style faucet. It is a double basin. The windows above the sink, they do open. And you do have open shelving or open shelves right across the top of these cabinets. Or if you had like display dishes or something like that, you could put them up there. And that's pretty cool. Right over here to the side, you can see the laundry room. And it's got like an open air point above it. I'm not sure that I've ever seen that in any other home. Right here is your exterior door. And your pantry is actually built into your laundry room. So you've got a really nice size pantry in here with three shelves. These homes are getting more and more usable in the sense of adding shelves and spaces to be able to store stuff. Over here is your spot for your washer and your dryer. Now right on the other side of that kitchen, as you can see, is the dining room. I actually kind of like how they put that brick, even though it's kind of a, you know, a faux brick, it kind of goes really nicely in the dining room. It just kind of gives it that separation point to give you an idea that even though it's open concept, this is a different room. Now this is set up with barn style doors. You can see they're not on here currently because this home is about to be moved. And that's to separate this living room from the family room. Again, you've got an accent wall down here on the end set up for you to be able to put your TV on if you wanted to, or you could put your TV on this wall. You've got ample room to be able to put it anywhere you wanted to. It's a really good sized family room though, without a doubt. And for those of you that are curious, the heating and air conditioning in this home is actually in the ceiling. Now, as you walk out of the family room and down this little hallway, right here to the right, is the guest bathroom. Now, as mentioned, the power's not on, so y'all bear with us. But that's a nice single piece shower unit and a nice size bathroom. Now, if we were to have stayed straight down the hallway, we'd have walked right into the first guest bedroom. Now, instead of being kind of rectangular shape, this room is actually more of a square shape. It gives you more usable space to be able to put your furniture does have a good sized closet in here as well. Give y'all a bit of a pan shot. Now if we walk back out of this bedroom and hang a right, then we've got, wow, that's a big bedroom, guys. This is a good sized bedroom. If you had teenagers, they would probably fight over this room because of the size of it. It's a really big bedroom. Do a little bit of a pan shot for y'all. 
And as you can already see, you, your closet's over here. Then over here, you're gonna have a Jack and Jill style bathroom center between the other two bedrooms, this bedroom and the other bedroom. This one has a much larger sink in it than the other one. Single piece shower unit again and toilet. I like the way that it's separated. Here's that third guest bedroom. Again, another large bedroom. This is definitely set up for family living without a doubt. Let's go over here and take a look at the inside of this closet and see how it looks. Oh yeah. This home's got a ton of room for family living. Let's go ahead and take a walk back out here into the other end of the house and go take a look at the master bedroom and bathroom. It's set up just right, it feels like to me, to be very usable with the space that's in here. There again, all the stuff that's in the floor, please disregard that, but this home is currently sold. I'm just happy they let me get a sneak peek of it. So here is your master bedroom. Love the two windows up there against the wall. You have plenty of room. You could put your bed in multiple places in here. And that's something I always look at in these homes. Sometimes they have it where your bed's got to be on one side or the other. I like having options. All right, let's go ahead and head into this third bathroom slash the master suite. And in this master suite is going to be your master closet as well. That's a nice size master closet. Plenty of room. For his and her stuff without a doubt if you look over here to this side you do have room for your towels and stuff over here on the side and you've actually got a different style shower in this particular home it's got a much larger seat over here where you can sit down if you're going to shave your legs nice tile very beautiful overall it's got the big rain head shower head up there on this side huge bathtub it has that continued brick look that we saw out there. Big window right there over top of it. You can tell this one's actually set up where you can rest your arms down there, which is really nice. Again, this home does not have a toilet closet or a water closet, and I think I'm okay with that. I am think I'm on board with you guys that said something about it being kind of claustrophobic. You do have his and her sinks over here and plenty of storage for everything that you may need to put in there. Blow dryers, razors, all that kind of stuff. So, overall, it's a beautiful home. Y'all may be wondering about the price point. Now, y'all remember, these prices are changing daily. They're subject to change at any point. They could change tomorrow. But this home just sold for $117,000. I think that's a lot of bang for the buck. Y'all let us know what you think about it in the comments below. And please follow us along as we take our next home tour right up here in the right-hand corner.